I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a teleporting dog in my entire life. I just know I'm seeing crystal clear and we actually are getting a Marvel Legends figure of Rom. What's up? So many Marvel Legends figures to talk about. Let's get into it right now. What's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles. Another edition of Lyles Figure Files. So many videos worth cranking out because it is San Diego Comic-Con season. And oh, man, so much stuff. I feel like Marvel Legends really came through strong. Lots to discuss. Of course, so many things on my hit list, the ones I really wanted to see, are left undone. But what we did see, I was encouraged by the change in the HasLab format. Also very encouraging because there are tons of giant characters and I don't have to sit through a HasLab window to hope I can get. But let's take a look at all the stuff they showed off. First up were those Sentinel Army Builder two packs and we see them battling Colossus and Storm here. Note they have Colossus crunched over or hunched over. Storm also bending down so we can't see exactly how diminutive these Sentinels are next to them. But their colors really do pop and they look fun, especially if you can pack them up in an army builder scene like this. They don't need to be 12 inches tall. They're still intimidating. And now that they've changed up this HasLab format, maybe we'll see the Sentinels in their proper gargantuan height really soon. But uh, there's a ton of stuff. <laughs> One that I was very ecstatic to see was Crystal. My only question was which version we were going to get of her first. Turns out they go the classic Inhumans look. This makes the most sense. You can also pair her with the Inhumans to battle the DNA Guardians of the Galaxy, Mary, Ronan. So there's lots of cool stuff with this outfit, this choice for Crystal. You note that she's on the Shriek body, I believe. It doesn't look like she's got all that hyper articulation from Black Widow and Warbird. That's okay. I feel like the Shriek body worked just fine for her. Um, I got to assume they'll reuse this later on for the 2025 version of the Fantastic Four Invisible Woman because it'll be due for be time for an update for them. And Sue has that old articulation scheme, so she's going to need an update. Here you go. I assume if they use this body, we can just pop this crystal head onto it and got crystal in the Fantastic Four. But classic yellow and black i love how vibrant the orange of her hair is they got the stripes going through just fine if you don't want to wait and be patient you probably pop this onto a cersei body which you can find pretty quickly and easily now over at ollie's to get the best version so you can throw her in with the rest of your 90s vendors i'm gonna wait and hold out a little longer i really love how this figure turned out like ashley did some cool stuff with her accessories you can note the power effects actually loop around her wrist so we don't have to worry about them flying off she's channeling a little water here a little fire fire nice combination and she really looks good and i'm excited to actually have four members of the humans now slowly getting this team together and for a hot, hot second she was actually rocking this costume with the avengers so you can add her on to the team with this look as well so she's Crystal's got all kinds of team uses, uses, and you can throw this onto the retro Invisible Woman that's still around on a lot of Ollies, so you can do that too. But that's not all, with Crystal. She's coming with Lockjaw, and it's a two-pack, and I think they did a good job in terms of figuring out the best way to articulate him. He does not do all kinds of, oh, man, he's crunching, he's jumping. He's pretty basic pretty much a statue so what they did was they came up with a way to swap out these parts and i love the fact that they always make sure to get a good boy dog face for anyone including road pigs pit bull mix so there's always a smiley one and the not so smiley one for for road pig for lockjaw we get this one and the legs swap out so you've got the hind legs reclined back like that resting and then the front legs kind of resting so he can do this. I think they got the scale just right with him because that's about the height he should look next to Crystal. She really looks good. I think it's that yellow. Hopefully there won't be any problems with that. You know, no mix match yellow from the elbows or anything. It's really consistent. And if so, 
I could definitely see just using this body and stripping the black off and giving, making this an updated Hellcat. So there's another use for this figure as well. I really like how both of them turned out really happy with this. And this is everything. It's an Amazon. It's a fan channel setup deal. So I don't remember all the different places the fan channels go to. But probably Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And you know Amazon is going to have, have this set in stock. They shouldn't sell out. Let's take a look at all the accessories. We've got the gesturing power effect hands. That makes a lot of sense for Crystal. And you see... We've got the energy I'm about to teleport effect for Lockjaw. It's got the gruffer, excuse me, gruffer faceplate for his mouth and then the hind legs that you swap out with these. So perfect for him. A little bit more action focus head sculpt for Crystal. And then this really cool new way they're doing her power. So I really like this. I wonder if this wrist loop will be enough, big enough that it could use, you know, could use it for other characters like Pyro, who do a little flame taunting, Johnny Storm. Maybe this will also work for Iceman or Storm. I guess you could definitely use this one as like a vapor trail for her. So more options with this. But very excited. Two more in humans. Now, if you want to ignore the fact that we need a new Black Bolt altogether and a new Medusa who can stand up without the hair issues, maybe a Karnak who's smaller. I thought it was funny during the panel they were like do you want to see some inhumans which one do you want to see and people were saying an updated better karnak and the, he's the most recent one that came out but we're we've got five members now we just need gorgon we need triton to have the family done and i'm still clamoring ring the bell for updated versions of black bolt and medusa and then of course you can't have an inhuman setup without getting maximus the mad but this really helps us get a lot of headway into the Inhumans. So they may be flawed, but we're going to have a lot more of them now. And this is exciting news. Very happy to see these two. Next up, we get Quicksilver. And this is that classic green. I was just rereading the Avengers Beyond Earth, not Beyond Earth's Mightiest, Earth's Mightiest Heroes that look back at the team when they initially formed kind of more modern sensibilities, Joe Casey and Scott Collins worked on it. It's a lot of fun, especially if you did not grow up kind of looking back at those old Avengers issues, but are kind of curious how they would read if they were written nowadays without some major relaunch. Like, OK, here we're going to do it and they're all going to be mad at each other. It's a really fun read. And Quicksilver is in this green costume, of course. And I was like, oh, man, I can't wait to get this. Much improved head sculpt. The hair looks better. And he's got that cocky jerk expression. And I really, really, really like this head sculpt. It's great. And I don't know. I kind of I kind of think I like this green a little bit more for Quicksilver. I don't really remember when he switched over to the blue. But for a nice long amount of time, he rocked this green and white. And this looks good. The butterfly shoulders, of course, will help him get those runner stance poses and he can take off. So he's going to look really good next to our 20th anniversary Captain America, the retro Scarlet Witch and the Hawkeye that comes with that sky cycle. So we're going to have Cap's kooky quartet. Hopefully really soon afterwards, we'll also be able to get a Goliath and a red and yellow wasp so we can have most of that team. We already got Black Panther so we can t continue expanding that roster of Avengers very exciting. Nice to see him. They're not continuing that Beyond Earth's Mightiest campaign, but it's always good to get another early-esque Avenger for our second roster, so he's still early. But I'm really excited about him. I love all these poses. He can really hit this arrogant jerk expressions, and I think they actually nailed the green just so. A little bit darker for the tights. This is a nice kind of sea green, I suppose, and the lightning looks really sharp. Very cool. The only problem is, only thing is not cool. He's a Walmart exclusive. Hopefully, he'll be easy to get. I don't know about you all. I was able to get the Venom and the Warlord Professor X from from Walmart.com. Typically, when your pre-orders go through, it's not an issue. They're not that target thing of every month. Hey, you still want it? We're gonna cancel your order if you don't. So that's that's hopefully it'll work out. I mean, I think once I get through. I don't have as many problems with my Walmart pre-orders, but we'll see. Next up is another two-pack. I feel like they're starting to think, hey, 
who needs build a figures? We'll just do more two packs. Wong. And it seems like Wong has been eating a little bit heavier in the comic books. I told you guys I've been rereading Defenders. He is very frequently in there, of course, because he's helping out Dr. Stream Strange and the rest of the team throughout. I think they did a really great job on his outfit, though. Butterfly shoulders are in effect again, so he can do the his shout outs to, to Neo and really nice, strong greens again. His face printing is solid again. I think he might be a little bit larger than he was in the comic books, but I mean, clearly, this is Wong. I don't care about that kind of thing. I mean, he's not the major character in the Doctor Strange mythos, but it's really good to have his dude. I mean, I'll we'll call him a manservant. That's weird now. Um, but his roommate who happens to be really good at keeping everything together while Dr. Strange is going off into some magical seance moment. And uh, you see these poses look really cool. Shooting the galaxy did amazing work as always got a lot of cool effects, but again, it's another two pack. And uh, here it is, Dr. Strange. I was really hoping that this is going to be an opportunity for them to put Dr. Strange in the blue tights. So, you know, it's got like the, the big, the bright blue, top tunic and then a little bit darker blue so i was like oh man you guys are sticking with this and it's also would have been an opportunity for them to paint in the details for his cape uh the sculpt is there you know the lining is all set up but it's not there they didn't paint it and again they didn't do it this time they opted to go with the sicklier pale skinned version of dr strange to kind of go with the he's getting possessed uh, i thought that was an odd way to go with dr strange wouldn't have minded a different head sculpt though maybe a little bit closer to the toy biz one which i still think is amazing but there you go got a purple power effect that's cool mixing it up i mean that's that's one that's been done a couple times with the doctor strange movie figures but i like seeing this purple just to say hey this is a different spell he's casting and the inclusion for this one was interesting i suppose it's bats the astral dog a basset hound whose original owner 16 years suffered a heart attack and left him in a shelter. They was take, left under the care of Stephen Strange. Jesse explained that, oh, man, somebody at, at last year's Comic-Con was in cosplay as this guy or as Batson. There you go. They decided to make a figure of it. And that's a relatively new character, 2017. So sorry, people who, who were hoping to see uh, an old school classic character like the wizard, the trapster banshee in his green and yellow outfit we got to get dogs out of here so you know i'm not gonna hate i think the figure looks pretty cool it's a toss in and whatever a little astral basset hound i mean we're gonna have a pretty extensive menagerie of of pets here after these 2024 releases so that was kind of fun i guess you could repaint it to make it actual brown and whatever other colors you want to make your basset but there you go and there's a stand that you can put bats on as well. Here's the corrupted version of Doctor Strange. Seeing you're still able to do those cross leg poses. And then there's the Dormammu head. Again, I mean, I've got a really great Dormammu. So there you go. The darker colors on the outfit are a nice little change of pace. I think the real attraction here is Wong. And so the Doctor Strange is like, oh, okay, whatever. And it mixes up his look a little bit. I'm excited to get a Wong figure. That's cool. Get him in two pack. But, uh, you know, this will probably be one that you can see later on sale. It's an Amazon exclusive. And as we know, these Amazon two packs do go on sale. I mean, we got the Baron Zemo, the RM Zola. It's 50 bucks during prime savings de deals. It was 40 bucks. I think this one would be great for 40 bucks. So I have to keep my eye on that price point for later on. But you can see Wong and Doctor Strange have the same effect pieces. Just changing up the color does do a lot to make that stand out. Very excited to get Wong. One that was not on my list of, oh man, Wong is definitely my top 20, top 30, maybe even top 50, but he's a useful character. So I'm not going to be upset about getting him, adding him to my Marvel Legend ranks. Time for an updated figure. It's been a while since they've done a Punisher. So here he is, and he's back in black, except for that white skull. Fighting Bushwhacker. This is cool. I'm really excited about getting him. This is a really fun addition to, to the line, and definitely one that you haven't seen before. And I'm always about those first time in the line figures, and you see he's got all the, the crazy attachments, so very nice. 
Nice angry head sculpt for old Frank there. That's good. So then we've got Punisher. You see him in all his glory. Small ammo. Small clips there right over his skeleton chest. So, I mean, I kind of dig this. They said it's an all new Punisher mold. I am curious if this all new mold will allow me to swap out those boots. I don't think I care too much about the, the black gloves, but I don't know. It's just something weird about the, the, the lack of white boots. I don't know why, but it just really matters to me with his outfit. But you can see it looks like he's going to have really great articulation with that floating torso. And it looks like he's got that abdominal crunch too. So you should have really great articulation. And so he's got two different head sculpts, one with the headband, one without. I always think it's interesting when they swap these out because, you know, when they change the hair. Because it's totally different. It's not like you're going to have him sneakily coming up on somebody with this head sculpt. And then all of a sudden, he's intense and angry and where's the headband. So I wish they would kind of not do that kind of deal. Just, just keep it consistent. And you know, if we want to change, I'll buy another Punisher figure. So you can see he's got a grenade here on the side that's detachable. So you can have him holding it, about to throw it, aim and go long. So really fun i dig the look on this punisher i think they did a really nice job with him we got bushmaster and this dude wow i keep saying bushmaster and i feel like maybe i'm saying that wrong maybe he's bush whacker oh so yes he is bush whacker i was like eh, i kind of feel like he's luke and butch's cousin with guns anyway Full explosion burst here. I know shooting the galaxy has created some, so it's nice that they actually threw this in for those of us who aren't that skilled. But he's got the gun finger, so he's all set to join Bullet Club. I love the texture work on his cannon arm. I do wish they had given him a more uh, plain, basic head sculpt. All that scarring on the head sculpt is really making him non-neutral but i guess with this excited head sculpt it doesn't really matter he's got a rat tail too so this guy is ready to do some skeezy stuff i love his collar they really did a nice job capturing that comic book look for him and just a real surprise character to add to the mythos so there's another one yeah i don't know if i would have had bushwhacker in my top 70 but it's nice to get another villain especially one who's taking on frank castle and again, they they went two pack wild here, but uh, here's some fun looks for him holding the uh, the guns. If you need him to not have his gun cannons and all that crazy stuff going, you can take some of Punisher's arsenal. At least one here is an Uzi. I think this is a basic submachine gun. Again, don't know all those, but yeah, he looks good. I think they did a nice job just doing something different. So another unexpected Marvel Legend villain. But here you go. And here's a two pack. This one. These pre-orders are all over the place. Uh, this one's not till August 22nd. So we've got a little ways to go. Make sure to set your alarm reminder. It's another Amazon pack. So we'll be able to benefit from it going on sale at some later date. And I like that Frank actually has some guns. Maybe some of your McFarland toys can borrow these. I love the Punisher War Journal setup. It's a nice excuse to go all black. I like the actual font. Having it looking a little bit more closer to the style of the comic book font. So that's cool. And just a really unexpected two pack here. I mean, I, I guess a new Punisher was probably needed because the old one's really outdated. And again, if I could just swap out those gloves, I'll be happy, but in gloves and boots. But this is a really nice figure. Happy to get this one. And I don't know if I love either one of these head sculpts. I think the earlier Punisher figures have a little bit better ones. This does, the headband one does kind of match up a little bit better with Punisher War Journal artwork, but no worries there. Head swaps are easy. Then we got a, a Venom pool. This figure has a little bit brighter color palette. It's a re-release, but you know, they're they're trying to take advantage of all the whole, hey, everybody's in love with Deadpool again thing. So I get it. If you missed out. There you go. You can grab them again. And then speaking of Deadpool and all that fun stuff, tomorrow the pre-orders go up for the first three. I'm sure a very of a of a whole slew of more Deadpool and Wolverine figures. I love the, the creative work here on the packaging where we have the, the title names of the characters done in this manner. That's fun. So we got Wolverine here with the head sculpt. 
Very nicely done. I think this is a really cool figure. And I don't tend to get too many of the MCU figures in Marvel Legends format, but I might. Because I really love the movie. Or maybe I'll just go with Hot Toys. Here's Deadpool himself. And, you know, he doesn't really need guns, but he's got his swords. He's got his, his knife. And uh, then we've got a civilian Wolverine. And uh, this is from early on in the movie. No spoilers. And he's got an accessory, head pool. And we've got the claws out. Claws retracted. So there you go. They'll be up tomorrow, 5 o'clock Eastern time. I will try to be around to post those, but stay tuned. And then we've got Colossus because they didn't really get around to him. So here you go. A deluxe version. I think they did a nice job with this figure. I rewatched Deadpool 2 just the other day. And it's really cool to see him. And he looks solid. I think in person, this figure looked a little shinier. Or did they not have? I feel like they did. I'm, or maybe I'm confusing it with another shiny figure I've seen over the weekend. All these figures they've shown off are starting to blur together. But Colossus looks really great. And I think they did a nice job with him. And then we got the Outriders from Infinity War. And these are a long time coming, but they work pretty well. So if you've got your Infinity War collection, you can army build this two pack to Infinity and actually have a whole bunch to get smoked by Thor, Rocket, and Groot. Bring me Thanos! Yeah, so this is cool. I, you know, I'm, I've really eased up on my MCU collecting. I don't know if I want to get these. But I wish Hot Toys made these cheaper, but this is a really nice deal, and you can just army build them to have some evil aliens to fight your team in whatever situation. You don't have to be tied to Avengers Infinity War for it. So I'm happy about this. Guys, it's great to get an army builder set. I talked about him earlier, but here's another look at Dragon Man, the not HasLab figure that's coming out. They're going to do a made-to-order kind of price point deal for him. No, you're not going to have to worry about, oh, no, will he fund? He's going to fund. It's just a matter of they're going to make it for however many people want it. And I guess they're going to have a few leftovers, but this is awesome to get this guy into the line in this format. Very excited about that. And Love how tall he looks next to Reed Richards. I think he'll be properly scaled next to Thing as well. Future Foundation glasses there. So cool stuff. And I'm really happy to see him join the line uh, this time with another crack from Hasbro. And then finally, Rom the Space Knight. And this is crazy. I mean, I guess we were all kind of speculating the possibility of getting this figure after they showed you know, the Omnibus was coming back in rotation. And I feel like Jesse and the Marvel Legends crew has just been waiting like, okay, okay, go now, get him. So we got him, R2, we got him. And I love everything about this figure. I thought they did a great job on the eyes. This is so important for the figure. And when I started getting into Marvel proper, not just G.I. Joe, the, the Ray of the War was going on in some of the comics, so it was really fun. I mean, I thought this guy was just a, a standard part of Marvel. And when he kind of vanished, like, where's the cool Space Knight? So here he is. Going to be able to put him on the shelf, maybe next to Chris Starr. But he's coming in 2025 and just a really great surprise addition to the line. And you can see all the detail work they put on, on the back there. But it's, it's going to be a fun figure. And just in case you were curious where Rom fit in with everything, here he goes. I mean, he was very active in the Marvel Universe, just kind of had random team-ups with whoever. And it's really nice to see him. We can reenact this cover. And this is back, uh, you know, after Cyclops left. So this is streamlined X-Men team, but very cool to get him in the line. So excited. Great time to be a Marvel Legend collector, Jaja Classified Series collector. Maybe not so much Star Wars, but I'll talk about that panel later anyway so many cool things and i still have a ton of things on my list that i want to see done no x factor no secret wars yet but i mean they're still doing these monthly uh live streams so hopefully we'll see them soon what were you most excited about seeing what did you really hope to see or disappointed that you didn't see just one i know there's lots of lists but don't put the full list in the comments just one or two all right I'll be back on later on to do a, a live so I can hear from you all directly and then break down Star Wars and anything else that popped up, including Transformers. I know their panel just ended or whatever. And I congratulate the G.I. Joe team for getting another HasLab funded with absolutely no sweat whatsoever. First 24 hours. 
who needs a has laugh? Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll be back on here later real soon. For now, this episode of the House Figure Files has been filed. Mm -hmm.